pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Madam Clerk, sunshine notice, please. Thank you, Mayor. Board of Commissioners, public meeting Tuesday, February 16, 2021. The time is now 7.05. Pursuant to the requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in December 3rd, 2020 issues of the Nutley Sun, Herald News, Star Ledger, and Tap into Nutley. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Due to the multiple executive orders declared by Governor Murphy and to prevent further spread of COVID-19 pandemic, all public meetings for the year 2021 will be held remotely via Zoom or teleconference. The public will be able to listen to the Board of Commissioners meeting and participate during the designated public comment portion of the meeting by utilizing access through a URL link or dial-in numbers provided on the Township website. Commissioner Kelly. Present. Commissioner Evans. Here. Commissioner Petraco is absent excused. Commissioner Scarpelli. Here. Mayor Tucci. Here. All present except for Commissioner Petraco. He is absent excused this evening. Thank you so much, Madam Clerk. You're welcome. I see we have minutes for January 5th, 2021. Move it. Need a second? Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Thank you. Do you have any communications or correspondence? None this evening. Okay, we do have one proclamation this evening. I'm, I'm very proud to present this on behalf of the entire Board of Commissioners. This is a proclamation for Mary Perna Caruso's 100th birthday. Whereas Mary Perna Caruso was born on February 19th, 1921 in the first ward of Newark, New Jersey, and has been a resident of Nutley since 1956. And whereas Mary, along with her two sisters, Tilly Vidiello and Columbia Corbo, migrated to Nutley together, all residing on Crestwood Avenue. Mary still remains in her Crestwood Avenue home as her sisters have since passed. And whereas proud daughter of Nicola and Michelina Perna and one of the nine siblings, Mary created a happy home and a loving family, raising her son Lenny in the Crestwood Avenue home. And whereas Mary and her late husband Patsy are the proud grandparents of Mark Caruso, Lauren Garofolo, Lexi Marmo, and great-grandparents of Gino, Nico, Santino, Grant, and Logan, and whereas Mary was employed by National Union in her early days and W.T. Grant Company until it closed in 1976, where she managed the luncheon at counter. Mary was well-known and loved by her patrons that dubbed her Mary Hun because she referenced everyone as Hun. And whereas Mary happily retired from her final place of employment, Clara Mass Hospital Cafeteria, where she was loved and greatly cherished. And whereas throughout her lifetime, Mary has seen and embraced many changes to our community and world. Whereas on February 19th, family, friends, and our community will join in celebrating the incredible milestone of Mary's 100th birthday. And whereas it is the distinct honor and pleasure of the Township of Nutley to honor and recognize Mary Perna Caruso, the matriarch of her loving family, as she celebrates 100 years of excellence. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and the board of commissioners of Township of Nutley, County of Essex, the state of New Jersey, that the township honor and congratulate Mary Perna Caruso on her 100th birthday. Be it further resolved that a copy of this proclamation will be presented to Mary Perna Caruso. Mary, congratulations on your 100th birthday and God bless you. Commissioners, comments, Commissioner Evans. Happy birthday. Uh, I hope to make it there myself. Uh, enjoy your day. Mr. Kelly. Likewise, happy birthday. I also hope to live as long and I hope you live another hundred years. Where's the Scarpelli? Uh, reaching the century mark is certainly a, a quite an accomplishment. Congratulations, Mary. And uh, I remember Mary's husband, Pat, who was a umpire, a long time umpire, the Nutley American Little League for a long time. I, when I was playing and afterwards when I umpired there, Patsy Caruso. Very nice. Mary, once again, congratulations. God bless you. And we hope to see you in a hundred years. Okay, moving right along, reports. Commissioner Evans. I have a code enforcement report for the Revenue and Finance Department for the month of, of January. And Mayor, if you wanna read the public safety one too. 
Thank you. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say public safety report also for the month of January for Commissioner Petraka. Thank you. And I have a shade tree report for the month of January 2021. Bills, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mayor. Bill list for February 16, 2021. Public Affairs, $106,240.84. Revenue and Finance, $7,653,423.30. Public safety, $154,145.72. Public works, $61,118.00. Parks and public property, $557,968.48. Water utility, $45,572.35. Payroll as of Friday, February 5th. Regular payroll, $774,107.03. Overtime payroll, $34,947.14. COVID overtime, $45,251.08. Total payroll, $854,305.25 for a grand total of $9,429,773.94. Second. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you. We will now entertain public comment on agenda items only. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks of the board and its individual members must be addressed to the mayor. The mayor may defer citizens comments to the appropriate member of the board. We have no, no one. one. There's no one there. Okay, we will move into board of commissioner announcements. Mr. Evans, anything? Uh, yes, uh, one quick thing. Uh, Monday, uh, February 22nd, the state's gonna have another uh, lease grant program. Uh, for businesses, small businesses to apply. Uh, the uh, application process opens uh, on at nine o'clock. And uh, there is a question because that's Washington's birthday. The state is in, in, is, in, is working that day, they are working. So uh, everyone should file their applications on Mondays and be ready to go at uh, nine o'clock. If there's other questions you have regarding that, uh, please don't hesitate to, to reach out. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Kelly. Uh, yes, uh, as uh, many of you are aware, last week we made the announcement that we'll be vaccinating. Uh, we got 300 doses of the vaccine. Uh, we, we did get an overwhelming response, uh, more than double the, uh, the amount of vaccines we have. We are gonna store those uh, additional names in case we do get more vaccines in the future. Uh, so if you don't, get on this, uh, this wave, or you haven't been able to get uh, vaccinated elsewhere, uh, we are gonna save those names and, and use them for the future. Uh, and we do hope to get more in the future, uh, but it's, uh, it's there, there's shortage everywhere. So uh, just be patient. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best to get as many more as we can. Thank you. Commissioner Scarpelli. Nothing, Mayor. Um, I'd just like to commend uh, Commissioner Kelly and the uh, Public Affairs Department. I went for my first shot today. It was held uh, in my building at um, Park Avenue, 44 Park Avenue. It was very well coordinated. It was very smooth. It went off without a hitch. And I just want to commend you and your entire staff for the excellent job that you did today. Thank you, Mayor. I'll definitely relay the message to the entire staff. Great. Uh, do we have uh, Senator Rice and Assemblywoman uh, Tucker on yet? I see. I see Assemblyman Caputo there. Um, okay, let's. If, if if it's okay, let's wait a little bit. We have a, a resolution that I'd like to present on behalf of all the board, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. Uh, Commissioner Evans, would you like to start with your resolution? Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nottingham, the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Treasurer B and she is hereby authorized to refund overpayment of tax charges in the amount of four thousand. $930.20 for block 1900, lot 22, so move. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. 
Whereas uh, war veterans who were honorably discharged from active service in the time of war in any branch of the armed services of the United States who have, have been or shall be declared by the United States Veterans Administration to be 100% totally and permanently disabled, uh, connected from uh, their uh, wartime service, a full tax exemption of their dwelling and the lot in which they, it is situated uh, can be granted. Whereas the following taxpayer has filed an application for allowance of full exemption for, with proper supporting documentation, just making the taxpayer eligible. Uh, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie County of Essex State of New Jersey that Carlos uh, Bolanos be granted full exemption from the payment of property taxes from January, beginning from January 1 to uh, 2021 and all subsequent years thereafter on the property identified as block 3802 lot nine, also known as 33 Highfield Lane. Be it further resolved that the treasurer is hereby authorized to refund $3,094.72 for, uh, pay, for taxes that were paid in uh, 2021, so move. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye, and thank you for your service, Mr. Bolanos. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. I see Commissioner Kelly, you don't have any resolutions this evening. Would you be kind enough to read Commissioner Petropa's resolution? Sure, this is... Uh... Uh, resolution number 3221, uh, whereas sealed bids for furnishing and delivering police dispatchers <coughs> and crossing guard uniforms and equipment were publicly opened and read on February 10th, 2021, whereas turnout uniforms is the only bidder, and whereas the funds in the amount of 48,000 are available in, the, in an appropriation entitled 101-310-200, Police and Dispatcher Maintenance and Allowance, and the funds in the amount of $12,500 are available in an appropriation entitled 101-310-200 crossing guards allowance and has been certified by the chief financial officer said certification being attached to this resolution. And now therefore be it resolved by the board of commissioners of the township of Nutley County of Essex state of New Jersey that a contract for furnishing and delivering police dispatchers and crossing guard uniforms and equipment consistent with the 2021 clothing voucher allocation be and is hereby awarded to turnout uniforms, 195 Patterson Avenue, Little Falls, New Jersey, 07424, so moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Scarpelli. Thank you, Mayor. Where is the Township of Nutley pursuant to NJSA 52 colon 34 dash 662? C-139 made by resolution and without advertising for bids, purchase goods or services through the use of a nationally recognized accepted cooperative purchasing program that has been developed utilizing a competitive bidding process by another contracting unit within the state of New Jersey or within any other state when available. And whereas the Board of Commissioners have to nutly pass resolution number 273-20 on November 17, 2020, authorizing the purchasing agent to purchase certain goods or services from approved National Joint Powers Alliance source well <laughs> vendors pursuant to all conditions of the individual contracts for the year 2021 commencing January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Whereas municipal clerk, Township of Nelly has advertised the township's notice of intent to award a contract under a national cooperative purchase agreement in the January 25th, 2021 issue of their Herald News. And whereas the Township of Nelly have Township of Nutley Department of Public Works is intent to purchase a Ravo 5 I series compact street sweeper and related accessories from Atlantic Missionary um, Machinery 2628 Garfield Avenue, Silver Springs, Maryland, a vendor affiliated with the Joint National Joint Powers Alliance source well, which is subject to all conditions applicable to the utilization of the National Buying Cooperative. Whereas the Department of Public Works has spent several months researching several street sweepers and have determined that the Ravo 5 I series is best suited for the township needs based on performance cost studies and minimal downtime. Whereas the Atlantic Machinery has provided a quote for a Ravo 5 I series compact street sweeper related accessories in the amount of $266,740.80. Whereas 
Whereas funds are available for capital ordinance G0415407 in the amount of $100,000, G0163407 in the amount of $100,000, and G0416406 in the amount of $66,740.80. And have been certified that Chief Financial Officer said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, we resolve that the Board of Commissioners Township of Pinelli County of Essex State of New Jersey that the purchasing agent B and she is hereby authorized to purchase Bravo 5 I-Series compact sweeper and related accessories in an amount of $266,740.80 from Atlantic Machinery, who has approved National Joint Powers Alliance source well vendor. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Where is the Township of pursuant to NJSA 52? 3462C139 may be by resolution without advertising for bid purchase goods or services through the use of a nationally recognized accepted cooperative purchasing program that has been developed, utilizing competitive bid processing by another contracting unit within the state of New Jersey or within any other state when available. Whereas the Board of Commissioners Township of passed resolution number 273 20 on November 17, 2020. Authorizing the purchase agent to purchase certain goods or services from approved National Joint Powers Alliance source well vendors, pursuant to all conditions of the individual contract for the year 2021, commencing January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021. Whereas a municipal clerk, Township Vanelli, has advertised the township's notice of intent to award a contract under the National Cooperative Purchase Agreement in the January 25th, 2021 issue of the Herald News, whereas Township Vanelli, of Department of Public Works, intends to purchase a Kenworth T. AAA triaxle and related accessories from Gabrielli Truck Sales 2306 Route 130 North Dayton, New Jersey, a vendor affiliated with the National Joint Powers Alliance source well, which is subject to all conditions applicable to the utilization of a national bank cooperative. Whereas the Department of Public Works has spent several months researching several triaxle class 4 8 chassis and related equipments and have determined that the Kenworth T. 880 triaxle and related accessories best suited for the township's needs mm -hmm. based on performance mm -hmm. cost savings and minimal downtime. Whereas Gabrielli Truck Sales has provided a quote for a Kenworth T880 triaxle and related accessories amount of $213,433.13. Whereas funds are available for capital earnings G0416641 in the amount of $213,433.13 have been certified by the chief financial officer. Said certification be attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, we resolve by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nelly County, Vesic State of New Jersey, that the purchase engage it B, and she's hereby authorized to purchase Kenworth T880 triaxle and related accessories, amount of $213,433.13 from Gabrielli Truck Sales, who is an approved National Joint Powers Alliance source well vendor, move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Be further resolved in accordance with provisions RS 40A 4 59 that the following transfers of 2020 appropriation reserves be in the same or hereby authorized and approved from group insurance 10,000, <coughs> City of Newark, uh, other water, other City of Newark water, other expenses $30,000 for $40,000 moved to the Sake Valley water, other expenses $40,000 with the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Whereas the Township of Nutley has a need to acquire specialized professional services as a fair and open contract pursuant to the provision of NJSA 19 44A 20.5, and whereas the Department of Parks and Public Property has determined that there is a need to acquire specialized professional services for air conditioning, plumbing, heating, and refrigeration service and purchase. And whereas the municipal clerk is hereby authorized and directed to advertise for sealed bids for air conditioning, plumbing, heating, and refrigeration service and purchase. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley in the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the sealed bid should be due on Wednesday, March 10, 2021, at 11 a.m., addressed to Municipal Clerk, Nutley Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley, New Jersey, at which time they will be opened and read via Zoom. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Town from Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that Raymond Redden Esquire be appointed Municipal Township Prosecutor for the Township of Nutley through May 21st, 2022. I move the resolution. Second. 
Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. <clears throat> My last resolution this evening I offer on behalf of the entire Board of Commissioners, and this is in reference to African American History Month. Whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley honors the heritage of African Americans and acknowledge their many contributions to our nation, our state, and our township, in particular the contributions of the late John H. Walker, Nutley educator and school principal, New Jersey 28th Legislative District State Senator Ronald L. Rice, and New Jersey 28th District Assemblywoman Cleopatra Tucker, and whereas the origin of Black History Month began in 1915, half a century after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States and grew out of Negro History Week, the creation of noted historian Carter G. Woodson and other prominent African Americans. And whereas with the civil rights movement and a growing awareness of black identity, Black History Month or National African American History Month evolved to an annual celebration of achievements by black Americans and a time for recognizing the central role of African Americans in US history. Whereas the contributions of African Americans from all walks of life and their endeavors to learn and thrive throughout history and make unforgettable marks in our nation as artists, scientists, educators, influential thinkers, members of the faith community, athletes and political and governmental leaders reflects the greatness of the United States. And whereas remaining hopeful and confident about the path ahead and a time to acknowledge the courageous fight for the rights, liberties, and freedoms for all Americans, the Township of Nutley observes and honors Black History Month and encourages educators, students, and families to learn about the heritage and achievements of African Americans throughout appropriate programs. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, join with the citizens of Nutley to observe and honor Black History Month and recognize the tremendous contributions made by African Americans. Before I move this resolution, I would just like to acknowledge once again, um, our, our dear friend, uh, John Walker, who was one of the greatest principals and educators in the history of Nutley. And we will make sure that his family receives a copy of this resolution. And we are so fortunate here in the 28th Legislative District that along with our own Assemblyman Ralph Caputo, we have the honor of being represented by Senator Rice and Assemblywoman Cleopatra Tucker, uh, who are both very prominent members of the African-American community, not only in the 28th district and the County of Essex, but also in the entire state and in some instances throughout the nation. So we're very happy to present this to them and I very proudly move this resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Assemblyman Caputo, would you like to make some remarks? Well, first of all, I want to congratulate the commissioners. This has been a rough year uh, for everyone. The COVID uh, complications that uh, we've been burdened with in terms of finances and the stress on our educational system, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the, uh, it's very suitable that you honor Mr. Walker uh, for his reputation, who I did not know personally, but I know a lot about him uh, from my neighbors and from people I know in Nutley over the years and students, et cetera. Uh, what a wonderful educator he was. I would wonder how he'd be handling some of the stresses that we have on the system today. And as far as Cleo Patrick Tucker and Ron Rice, everybody knows our relationship and the fact that uh, we represent the 28th legislative district, which starts here in Nutley and goes across the county. Uh, I have the privilege of working with these individuals in any town or any problem that we, we try to serve. Let's talk about Cleo for a second. She's an elegant woman. Uh, she's intelligent. She's dignified. Uh, she worked side by side with her husband, Donald, who was a tremendous civil rights leader in his own right, had his own identity, and was known not only through, as, as Morrow said, as the mayor said, uh, not only through the state of New Jersey, but nationally and internationally. And everybody understands the reputation of Senator Rice, who's uh, chair of the uh, Black Caucus, Legislative Caucus in Trenton, expresses his views genuinely, uh, unbossed, and uh, you never have to worry about what he's thinking, but his heart is always in the right place. Uh, so I'm very pleased that uh, the mayor and the, and, the, and the commissioners have chosen them to be re respected with this resolution. 
uh, I know that I tried to reach them. I don't know whether they had the Zoom number or whatever, but maybe Cleo is on. She's trying to get on. We, no one sent it, so we tried to send it. Because I, I texted them while this was going on, and I didn't get a response from Ron, but I did get one from her. So I just want to congratulate the town and uh, their recognition of this very important uh, resolution. And uh, it's always a pleasure to work with all the commissioners here. And the mayor, uh, I want to respect his leadership on all of this and everyone else that's joined them on that. So you know where I stand on it. I think it's great. So thank you very much. Thank you, Assemblyman Caputo. And we are also very privileged and honored to have you representing us here in the 28th District. I appreciate that. Any further comments? Okay, seeing no none, we will open the meeting to the public. Thank you, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person should limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. We have no one. Okay, seeing no one uh, looking to comment this evening, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Oh. Oh, let's. Okay. Assemblywoman Tucker. Yes, yes. Hi. I, I'm. I just got on, Raph finally sent me the link. I'm sorry uh, that I was late, but uh, I just wanna thank you all for all your uh, considerations for me and, and Ron, and we thank you so much. And we're so proud to be your representatives of, uh, in the 28th legislative district. And we're gonna continue to work with you to make sure we can do everything we can to help you. Assemblywoman, thank you for your leadership, both you and, and Senator Rice, and we love having you here at Nutley, and thank you for all the hard work that your entire team does for us. We totally appreciate everything you do. Thank you, and God bless you. Commissioners? Oh, thank you so much, and thanks for the honoring. Commissioner Scarpelli. Thank you. Uh, I just think we have a great legislative team, and uh, it's always great to work with them, and they work on behalf of the Nutley citizens all the time, and we really appreciate all your hard work. All three of you. Thank you. Commissioner Evans? I just, I just want to echo the sentiments of the rest of the board of commissioners. Uh, as the newest member here, I haven't had the opportunity to work with all of you uh, in any official capacity yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and uh, working with each of you and, and bettering this uh, community here we have in Nutley. Yes, Cleo, my, my, my microphone was off, so I'm not sure you heard me. Just know that it was really good. <laughs> Assemblywoman, thank you so much for being with okay, us. Okay, thank you. Stay well. Oh, you're quite welcome anytime. Okay, you too. Everybody stay well. Thank you. Good night. Uh, I'll reiterate my motion to adjourn. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> yes, the motion seconded. Second, Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. The time is 7.33. Thank you all again and good night. Is that a new record? Good night.